Hey guys, it's Christina. So I can't believe that this year is ending and literally it's so crazy. I know everyone says this at the beginning and their December favorites at the end of the year, but like literally so much has happened this year. Like my life's changed. I've come so far since the last December favorites that I did and it's just crazy. Like I've moved, I have broken up, I have traveled, I've done so much and yeah, it's just like so amazing to see how you grow through the years, but I'm happy where I am now and I want to see what the next year brings. So I wanted to do my December favorites for you guys and one of the biggest things I did this month was go to Dominican Republic for my birthday vacation for a week. So I have done a vlog when I was there and I'm editing it right now with this program called Filmora. And I'm almost done editing it, so the video will be up soon. If not before this one, I might post that one before I post my favorites. I don't know, we'll see, but either way, I will link it below in the info box and somewhere over here for you guys to see, but it was really fun. I decided to go somewhere different for my birthday now every year. As you guys might remember, last year I went to Vegas for my birthday, and before that I always spent it here for some reason. I don't know why I haven't traveled before this but that was really dumb but <laughs> i always stayed here in virginia and pretty much you just do the same thing you just throw parties all your friends show up blah blah blah. but then like you can't even distinguish which year was which because you always end up doing pretty much the same thing just partying and it's like and it's like well that doesn't really help me out at all like it doesn't change anything i don't learn anything from that so i decided that every year i'm just gonna go travel and see new places for my birthday so last year like i said i went to vegas this year i went to dominican republic next year i don't know where i'm gonna be but i'm gonna be somewhere very different but yeah so that vlog will be up soon if it's not up already and i'm using this program called filmora i have it over here on my laptop i'm trying to show it to you without like disconnecting the camera um but it looks like this the actual icon for it is like this little green square with an f on it but you just import your clips just like iMovie before this i've always used iMovie but this actually offers a few cool features that iMovie doesn't which i love like first of all it has a lot more text options iMovie doesn't really have that like you can't put like cool new there's only like a couple of cool like you know titles that you can do this one has so many this one's got so many of them like literally tons and tons to pick from and they have added a few christmas effects as well lately just for christmas then also they have these filters that iMovie doesn't have i know iMovie hot why do people keep texting me when i'm filming all the time or calling me like stop <laughs> um i know iMovie has a few different like filters or whatever you know like to make it like more saturated or black or white or whatever but this one literally has like tons and tons and tons it even has these like little um things like that where like you have these little what do you call it like bokeys or whatever all over the screen which iMovie does not have that at all you can make yourself look like you're in a concert or something you can make yourself into like nine different tvs you can mirror on iMovie i could do that but it was like you literally had to like layer two clips and then like flip the other one this one is like already like done for you um if you're not into editing you're probably like what is she talking about but my fellow youtubers or just anybody who likes to edit videos you appreciate this because it's so much easier it makes your life a lot easier plus it's just cooler to edit and it's better videos for you guys like better quality and it's more fun to watch when there are like different effects especially for like lookbooks or something like that or, like outfit of the days because it's not like me just sitting here talking to you it's actually like you know fun stuff like you see like flip images zoom in like all different effects and it's just cool and there's a whole separate tab for bokeys as well there's like a whole ton of them to pick from there's a lens flare there's a ton of effects on here elements this is another thing that iMovie does not offer so you can add these like little arrows little hearts balloons um just whatever like little cake i don't know there's a ton of stuff there's a bunch of christmas ones like i said they just added those um just a ton of stuff like a love all these like little things but there's a ton of them there's like little stars and i don't see these in iMovie ever so <laughs> yeah you can't buy them either it's just like something you know that it doesn't offer there's a ton more transitions there's just a whole bunch of stuff that iMovie does not have um, also a lot more of these where you can do like 
three screens or something like that iMovie as far as I know it's like only up to two which like I said you layer it two and then you like flip it or whatever and that's it like this one has like up to six of them six screens which is awesome and you can see that which makes for better content like I said it's better stuff for you guys to watch which you will see my DR vlog so you can judge for yourself I'm not gonna add all of those effects to it obviously but some of them so you can watch that and judge for yourself but you can get it on filmmore.wondershare.com I will link it down below at the top of the info box for you guys if you're interested so definitely check them out because I love this new program hands down then for some of my beauty slash a bath favorite, these you saw in my last haul or the haul before that or something like that. These are from Bath and Body Works and these are their Japanese Cherry Blossom Shower Gel and Lotion. And I've had the shower gel before in this scent and I've had the body lotion in this scent before as well as the hand soap, like the foaming one with the pump or whatever. And I love the smell. First of all, like everything from Bath and Body Works smells so good. Like you never will go wrong with any of their smells. Oh my god, it smells so good. And I've been using this shower gel a lot more. I'm kind of saving the lotion because um, I'm using another one right now that I want to finish up first. But the shower gel, I've been using so much. And literally, you only need the teeniest, tiniest drop of this, which is nice. Because some of the other ones I use, like for example, the Victoria's Secret ones, I've had some body gels from them. I've had some shower gels from them. And... They smell really good, but you keep having to reapply it to your blue felt. Like literally, it doesn't do, it doesn't foam up. It just goes away so fast. This I can put like this much in my loofah and shower my whole entire body with it and it will still be foaming like it goes a long way so it's definitely worth your money and as you can see I've been using it for like a couple weeks and I've only hit that much like with other shower gels like they would probably be gone already like this whole bottle would be done so I've been loving these and I will link them below for you guys as well for some of my makeup favorites I've been rocking these two lipsticks well this one is actually not what it's supposed to be um it looks just like this is the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick but it's in cherry cordial and it's pretty similar to this color this one I just got like literally I just did this haul video but the actual one that I've been wearing this whole month of December you probably saw it in so many of my videos I actually lost it because I went to this Christmas party and my clutch didn't have a zipper and I guess like the flap opened and I don't know where it went but it fell out and I was so sad because I love that color so much it's like a deep burgundy red I will insert a picture right here but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about because I've done so many videos this month with it on already like I said but it's so nice so that one is called Cherry Cordial and I will link it below for you guys I have a discount for Jerry Cosmetics as well for the lipsticks or like the lipstick and lip gloss combo which I just did a haul from them and I love this gloss right here this is called the Madison Ave I just got it but it's like the perfect it reminds me of my favorite pink please that was discontinued years and years ago by Maybelline Oops. but yeah <laughs> so this one if you want to do like a lipstick and lip gloss combo I'll have discount codes and I also have like a 20 or I have like a 25% off code for your entire order if you don't want lipsticks or whatever so I'll link those below but the other one that I've been wearing a lot is the Viva Glam Miley Cyrus number no. 2 from MAC. You've probably seen it in a lot of my videos and photos on Instagram as well. It's like a orangey red. It's really, really pretty, really hot. And the one that I just unpackaged in my Gerard haul actually looks pretty similar. I haven't put them on together, but they look very similar to me. Um, the MAC one is probably a little bit deeper, but either way, they look pretty similar. So... This one would be a little bit cheaper with the um, discount code. This one would be like $14 with free shipping and this one is like $17. But this one's not going to be there forever. It's like limited edition but I've been loving this one as well. So I'll link both of them for you guys. Then for lashes, which finally enough I'm not wearing them today because I, you know, it's my day off actually. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to any parties. And I didn't feel the need to put them on. But usually I've been rocking these ones right here. And these are like the cheap ones from like one of those like Asian websites. But they're so good. And I have a whole bunch of these like 10 lash stack kit things. They're like literally like maybe 3 bucks or something like that for 10 of them. But this is the style that I've been loving. And this one is called 0 to 8. And it's pretty much very natural. It's not too too, too dramatic. But... I love how they don't go bad very fast you do have to kind of like go like this with the band to make them you know a little bit more bendy at first because they are cheaper like I said but that makes them kind of last longer also because they're not as fragile so I've literally been wearing that pair just threw it out I wear it probably like for a whole month or something like literally like a lot so 
yeah I will link the website where I got these for you guys down below if you want to check out all their lashes like I just said they're like super super cheap so if you want to save some money check them out another random thing that I've been liking to do which is probably like so dumb some of you might be like uh did you not know this before but no I didn't so okay usually sibling brushes I've used them for foundation like liquid foundation I'm sure a lot of you guys know this because I see this all the time on YouTube, but I've never used them for powder. I don't know why. I guess because in YouTube videos, I've never seen people use these for powder. And my friend Raven, she came from California for the holidays here to Virginia. So I was at her house and um, I was like, girl, give me some powder because we were about to take pictures and it was really hot and my face was like oily as hell. So she gave me some powder. She gave me her stippling brush and I was like, hmm, okay, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. So I used the powder with her stippling brush and I was like actually this is so much better than the fluffy little kabuki brushes that I use normally for powder because it doesn't like disturb your liquid foundation slash contour like the cream contour that you use as much so I have no idea why I never did this before why I didn't think of it but it's just so like light and feathery so when you do the powder it's like literally it just glides on but it doesn't disturb the makeup underneath it so I've been liking these really you can use any sibling brush you want but the one that I've been using is the Sedona Lace 813 and I will link the Sedona Lace down below which I also have like a four dollar off coupon code for them that I will put below which covers your shipping pretty much so it's like free shipping so hey whatever like anything free thanks so much okay the last thing I want to talk about is a fashion item these are my booties that I got from Zara when I was in Ukraine and I don't know why I didn't include these earlier because I've been rocking these since it got cold like since October I think so like October November December I have a ton of other boots and shoes and sneakers and stuff like that that I could wear but these ones I've been loving just because they're so comfortable it's a wedge heel it's still thin and sexy and it's pointy so it goes with pretty much whatever I could rock these with leggings jeans even a dress if I wanted to like literally and it just goes with everything they're classic black boots like goes with every outfit pretty much you're not gonna go wrong with these and they're so comfortable I could wear these all night at work and be fine so loving these I'm sure they don't have them anymore the exact same ones because it was like two years ago that I got them but I'll try to find similar style ones and link them for you guys below but yeah that is it for my favorites you guys I hope you enjoyed and you will be having a great New Year's Eve and a happy new year coming up so i wish you guys the best please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and as always check out the down bar for all the links of everything that i talked about as well as my social media if you want to add me on like instagram facebook twitter snapchat anything like that and i'll have my blog links as well where i always list everything aware if you have any questions and that is it so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye um, kind of material so it also rips like because like for example right here so as you can see um, but this material is different I can't even really I don't even know how to describe it it's like a rubbery sort of feel it's like stretchy as you can see um, but it's not like those rubber gloves because those actually make you streaky this actually this rubs it in very well everything is very even 